Hey kids, do you like breakfast? Yeah. Well, you're going to love self-heating maple bacon breakfast logs from Randy Checkers. Cool. That's right, kids. Just crack my log like a glow stick and watch the magic happen. Delicious breakfast perfectly heated in less than 30 seconds. Move over, Jimmy Dean. There's a new sausage sheriff in town, and his name, Randy Checkers. Warning, Randy Checkers' maple bacon breakfast logs contain substances known to cause cancer in the state of California, and is part of a balanced breakfast. Randy Checkers' maple bacon breakfast logs, hell yeah! Randy Checkers' maple bacon breakfast logs, hell yeah! Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Hello. It's time to make more poor choices. It's time to make more poor choices. We have foolishly split the party. And now it's time to take out both sites. Hidden Boss, T.O., Von Falkenstein, and SRW Addict. We're going to assault the Gentenna Arcanery because we want it for their books. Mine Wiles by Shea Rossi, Bailey Ashworth, and Douglas Austin. The lady huffs and puffs through the forest, pushing through the trees, rushing at her fastest. Keep going, Mathiel. Keep... You're almost... Can't... Washing! Oh, man. Tio got fucking knocked the fuck out. <laughs> She's made a stern shit. Still? What's up, 47? Still? What's up, 47? Am I okay, Diggs? Am I okay, Diggs? Shit. Everybody panic. <laughs> at least my hotkeys are proving to be at least decent. Let's pull that wildermyth back up. It's all good. We'll we'll get it sorted out. Yeah, I'm I had to crank the volume to make sure that I could even bloody hear it. Am I too strong? Or is it the, the music? Bloody hell.
The video has a beep. Yeah, because that's what I have up. Oh, really? I don't bloody hear that. Shit. My inputs aren't coming at all from OBS. I apologize for that. That was apparently really rude. I had no idea. I'm getting no feedback from that. By all means, I'm just gonna sit here at the menu, and if it's fucking awful, please let me know! <laughs> God damn it! Oh man, it would be me, right? Okay. Can I not picnic now? Can I not shit my pants? Is it okay? Can I go? <laughs> uh, we're going to load the Benevolent Protective Order of Jerkin. Uh, I do really apologize for that. Um, fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm new as fuck. Um, and if I was wise, I would have listened to that the shit's fucked and found that it actually had a tone to it. I didn't know. I'm sorry, Wild Red. Hopefully I can make stupid decisions and make your day better. For Mine Wilds by Shay Rossi, Bailey Ashworth, and Douglas Austin. This woman rushes frantically through the forest with purpose. Gotta try. Gotta try, Wild Red. Keep going, Mathiel. Keep... You're almost... Smash. And she takes the fuck out of T.O. T.O. gets knocked the fuck out. And she pulls her sword. Hardy as fuck. Stay back, I know how to use this. Knowing how is only as important as knowing when. Take it easy, Von Falkenstein. Hey, T.O., you good to get up? <clears throat> yeah. You can put that weapon away. You first. Those who bargain armed bargain only for death. My bow is not the most dangerous thing I wield, but rest assured, we're out tracing Thraxia. Thraxia? Ha, we're a bit late. I just snuck past all of them. Their webs and tricks, simple stuff. The way you were running, you seemed a little, uh, panicked. Panicked? <laughs> no, I simply. Let's have a fire and talk. Mm, come with us. You'll be safer, praising Zork. Me? But... Do... Do you have beer? Whiskey. Oh, ho! we are on the same side. Praise fire team whiskey. That evening, the woman spills her story. Mathilde Farrell is her name. A treasure hunter. Sorry about that. It was a miner who commissioned me to retrieve a necklace. A family heirloom, I guess it is. The thing he left behind in a rush. It's not an easy country. The mine's tucked in there pretty deep. It's where the trouble's kind of centered, we're told. The place got infested by the bugs a couple weeks back. And you're claiming you got in and got back out? And didn't raise an alarm? How did you manage that? Can't you guess? If it's guesses, we'll send as many as there are at Sparks up into the night. It was the vent shaft. Huh? The vent? What? You what? Tied a rope? Mm-hmm. I don't know about the limberest woman you might you'll ever meet. Could we maybe try the same thing? Is it difficult to locate? Want me to draw you a map? 
Sure. Oh, yeah. Probably be good. Oh. Well, so... If you think of what a mine looks like, it's... Uh, right on top of it. Uh, yeah, I see. Sunrise. If there are Thraxel in the area, now is no time to be lighting a fire. No, 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 no. There is always time for fire. Believe you me. It doesn't matter if they can be seen or smelled. What's up, Rimworld Herald? Welcome back. It's time to make sure that you live or die. You're in, uh, fairly good hands. We've got two hours to see what we can do with these. They scramble down rock faces, quiet as they can. Mountain smelling mist helps deaden the sound. That treasure woman, Meti. I find myself uneasy, waiting for a wrinkle, a disaster, an ambush. That's why I tell you, most people would rather help than hurt. Just don't change their minds. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be fighting for you. We're pulling for you, Rimworld Herald. We're all in this together. As they assemble there, an eerie echoing skitter sound escapes the mind's throat. How do we want to do this part? The gaping maw part. Well, Through the vent shaft, let's drop in and surprise them. Thinking if we plug that vent, we can make them fight out here. As a dwarf, I'm not afraid of fighting in the mines, so if you'll excuse me, that's where we will fight. Better to best jump in sometimes. Back up the hill, seems like. They climb again under the lightning sky. To assemble under the narrow black vent, in the flood water, clean the place out. A unique experience is only. Unfortunately, they pissed off out of the open anyway. And then back into the caves? I guess we're in the caves. Weird. Well, I mean... We did do what 47 said. We are spoopy. Sneaky. And we're gonna wait for them. The stumbly bumbly boo. Into us. And take the ridiculous toughness. Welcome to die. Oops. Ah, you weren't hidden enough, my dude. But... Were you to have hit, it would have sucked and died in one hit, so... I mean, I understand that you can miss once. It's a big fuck-off huge hammer. Mmm, I don't really trust this passage. I imagine something's going to be coming from that way. So we'll have Vaughn... Just go chill. You can go here and infuse one of these pillars and be ready. Sure. Chill. Oh, hey. Weird. The threats. That's where they come from. Hidden, hold tight. T.O. Post up uh, in front of Von Falkenstein. What up, Poopy? How you doing? Welcome to another Stuka Steals. In an appropriate time. 
in the inappropriate hour. Can we discuss it with them? No, they're too far. Flares are lame, though. Blinding's for losers. I want them to see everything we hurt them with. Let's take that pillar and be ready. Calcify up like crazy. And then we'll rock shield up to Yo. From... It don't matter. Why do you gotta work later, Fubi? New friends. Friends? What's Vulcan? Is is that is that some Star Wars stuff? Is that like some sort of chain gun? Good lord, the duck is just preposterous. Bards are supposed to be scary. Falkenstein's got ridiculous wheels. <laughs> or somebody who makes really, really bad jokes, one of the two. I know of it, and a lot of friends of mine really, really enjoy it. So I hear that the If the Emperor had a text-to-speech device is really good, but it's not something I've ever watched, so I can't speak for it. Hmm, Yorkshire Gold. Anybody home? No, that's clean. You can come back. And then you can rush up to the door, post up, guardian up, SRW you can post up, same with hidden. Uh, just know that, a Vul that Vulcan is a treat, but today is not that day. <laughs> I should watch it someday. That's fair. I mean, I know that, like, my, my, uh, my pops... He was uh, really into TNG, and that shit was on. So, like, I, I've absorbed a fair amount of Star Trek. I, I know some of the good stuff. I mean, obviously, I've I've uh, I've seen Tex and Crow talk about it, and the boys, and I know that it's good. One day I will invest the time and enjoy it for what it's worth, but I don't have the time yet. And that's, that's future Stuka's problem. I hear it's long, but I hear it's worth it. I mean, it's like, th like there's a reason why there's the two sides to sci-fi, and it was Star Wars and Star Trek for a long ass time. There's a good reason for it. And now we open the door, and there's nobody there. After all that, we stacked up for nothing. We're gonna withdraw from the pillar because someone's coming that way. You can push up and give anything that decides to hate us the dumbest. Which is nobody. Where are these nerds? Actually, though, we've cleared this out. Oh, the second gate. Uh -huh. I see, 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 see. At least there's lit torches. 
We could praise Zorg in a moment. Way you go. Towards the actual problem that's left. Good. Moria is for the dwarves. So it should be. All right, SRW, pop that door. Where are these nerds? Get him some range. When you got a hammer, you gotta be able to swing a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, fuck up the seeker. It's worth it. Move to you up. So you can come to us. Or die for 100%. Like those XCOM mods. And then Hidden can just walk up, get inspired, and give it a little bit of a up as. Hell yeah! This hidden boss here. If he's not here, um, that's too much. Untouchable is great. I swear by it, and we're gonna get to him. Five block, eh? <sighs> Maze Hughes has already got a nice block. It would be too nice if I gave it to him the actual numbers. Hidden boss or Falkenstein? Nah, Falkenstein is not going to be on the front line except he's spearing. And that's only going to be like... Dirty Dangles Duppus. So let's give it to Hidden Boss. Familial by Ann Austin. Some parents play spindle sham to bond with their children, or they garden, or they bake desserts. We could do those too sometime. Hidden boss talking to Papa SRW. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't give a shit. Thrixel, Thrixel can, can get OP. They're the weakest of, like, the Woken. Ugh. They're rough too. But our main enemies, the Marthagi, we're doing everything we can to keep them light, and it's been paying out fairly well for us so far. Now the real challenge comes from Emma Earthworks. But we cleared the patrol, it should be easier. 47 says there's plenty of family botting to be had adventuring around the land, and it's fair. Hopefully we don't suck and die, though. Because this dangerous out there. The further we go and we, uh, unwisely split the party as we do. Shy in the Shadow by Douglas Austin, Frambo, and Coglina. Damn right you're old. Holy fuck did you get old. Weird day, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah. Trying to hope it's not an omen. 
Wish I could talk to a deepest right now. Share a pie. Know what I mean? Really? Why? Because then I know what kind of pie they like, at least. Though, I'm already confident it'd be mushroomy. Certainly no beef in there. Beef? Hmm? I can see this isn't entertaining for you. Sorry. Hmm, well, I... <laughs> 47 says, oh hey, I'm old now. My bones snap, crackle, and pop in the morning. It won't be long now. Soon I'll have Rice Krispies bones too. Scree ow! Kerclash? Kersclash? You couldn't string much sleep together since we entered these thickets. Sir, I did notice, so, I mean, don't get far from me. If you can help it, I'm better rested. I, yeah, but I'm usually all right, thanks. Cordero? Good glad. Scrowl. Scrowl. Sprash. Clark. Clarang? I love his onomatopoeia. This young whippersnapper has no respect! Leap. Coral? Thrift. Yeah, the hidden boss! Welcome back. We were just wondering about you. You just hit a level, my dude. You're requiring names. Liberally applying foot to ass. No big deal. Coro? Coro? A cat. Never lightly suffers indignancies. It is mostly just indecent, you think? Being chased by monsters. What? I'm quoting Harpin. Oh. Whoever that is. Mew. Ko. Do. Ro. Hey, welcome back from fucking Steen. Hang in there. Watch it. Leap. Koro. Scatter. Koro. Hey. Is it sad that its playmate ran away? Koro. No respect! I tells you. That's a sweet interpretation. It does look to be sulking, doesn't it? But it's hard to know why. Owner's not home? Someone left a lot of interesting stuff behind. They haven't been here in the fall. Possibly even since spring. Koro. Koro. I'm not imagining it. The thing's depressed. Maybe, but let's not be the one to wipe a tyrant's tears. Well, it doesn't seem to hate us. I'll keep my staff raised all the same. Damn, 47, you're calling it though. He ain't got no respect for that cat, eh? Shadow kitty or not. Doesn't seem to notice us. I should maybe say. Oh, wait, look, he came back. <gasps> it's Ket. Plus one Ket. Is it maybe that the cat is actually tormenting this thing? I don't know. There's this. Everything alright? Mmm, a little book. Whoosh. Hold up. Cookbook? A ledger? A diary? <laughs> One second. I guess it seems to be a journal. Notes. Records of a prolonged endeavor. <laughs> Man, Rim, you were paranoid, ne? That sounds like something a cat would do. I mean, it would. That's fair. Flip, flip. Can I try and read some? Do you want to? I guess. 
Kotoruma. So it starts. Day one. Today I start my dark little spell journal. Oh, so it's, yeah, a spell journal. Flipping through, there's lists and drawings, diagrams, but it goes on. I shall here document, lucidly and diligently as I may. My preparations, my processes, my observations. I do not know if, how, and to what effects this spell shall succeed, but I am resolved in my course to see it through. And there's an amendment. Amendment. Excuse me. See it almost through. The final turn scares me. It's frightening magic we channel. Exclamation point. You're saying the person wrote out exclamation? No, of course not. A cramped indoor hour passes. Yeah, well, we we drink ominous signs with our milk in the morning. Day ten. The spell is cast, and yet today he languishes, same as yesterday, sleeps and raises his eyes blearily like a cat nine times his age. His voice leaves cynical undertones dripping beneath the writer's unstylish lines. Day 34. I grow sure, small signs that seemed like delusions at first, manufactured meanings, spread it of a man's hope wild imagination. They are like letters retraced, becoming starker, clearer. Things are changing. Herb dust. The seeped-in smoke of incense, books, and their book covers. The tired beams of rosewood. These soft, odd cottage smells combine. Blanket white. The mulled odor sinks around their shoulders, growing especially comfortable in this place and time. Like winter warmth. Mmm, Dumos. Last entry. Noticing my throat's a little hoarse, so... <coughs> ah, good timing, mm? Day 62. My... My brain's become a fiddle string. As vibrating focused lonesome as that. My mind narrows, and every thought is a pressed note along that stinging single strand. Damn it! Now I have to get water from my fridge! Damn it, I was on a roll! How dare Silicon Soul! We'll see if I can pick it back up. Hang on. Water consumed, hail hydrate. A solitary sand, from which not every sound or contemplation I would once have easily produced may now flower. Maybe you shouldn't keep reading. Perhaps old age would have always been like this, at least Shy. Shy continues to mend. For the first time today, he ate with gusto. The whole herring I brought him, it's been... I've gone back in my old diaries to check it's been just over two years. And I must have noted previously, it's this extended span of smallish changes I find most heartening. The pattern and pace speak to me of momentum. A steady motion that may carry forward far into the future, if never near forever. I find myself fearing the end. But fear, too, is a new darling of mine. More to fear, fresh and clear and bright. It confirms for me that the world keeps its bargain. He strengthens as I waste down. This fate is what I have wrought for myself. And for him, let's not be sad. And though it appears the tweaks I have made, I think of that midnight orchid so arduously haunted and harvested, so carefully separated, that those efforts 
have done nothing to mitigate or smooth out the transfer of my years. Let's not get down about it. Wish this... No, I don't... No, I feel for him, though. Hmm? Oh. It's a rough one, kind of, huh? But, hmm. I am quite... I am quite free of any regrets. Gratitude is what I feel. If you are reading this, believe me, mostly, most mostly, I am grateful. Now I wish to say, if you will see Shy around, chase him off. That cat will live a thousand years. I don't know where he'll go, but don't let him waste his new life here. For here, I will soon be bound. To what extent I shall eventually diminish, it seems hard to guess. I suspect I shall be nothing but a shadow soon. Lightless, thoughtless, meaningless, and without memory, a shade. May you live long, dear reader, never needing to learn the lengths you'd go to save the ones you love. Cordero. He signs his name, Morn Sedge, foolish warlock of Lank Meadow. Brave, this man, and sad. Then the shadow thing is what's left of him, seems like. Hmm. Well, we can do what the guy wanted anyway. Leave this cat away from here, yeah. You know, Rimworld Herald, sometimes we need to be protected from our own selflessness. Hmm? Koro? Do you want the cat, or do you want the shadow cat? I'm partial to the Shadow Cat because it's a really good mech. Just saying. I'm not at home. I can't pet dog. There are no animals here. And I don't have any of my magic cards out, so I can't pet the cards. I might have to give you that back. Um, that might have to wait till after the stream of Valkenstein. Or I can give you posthumous dork pets and yeet you dork pictures in the hawks. We got two votes for Shadow Cat. I dare not alt tab it. If there's somebody with mod, can you give uh, Von Falkenstein his pet back? If not, uh. Oh, well, fuck, dude. <laughs> we take those. All right, so we have three votes for cat. One shadow, two shadow, one regular cat. I don't know if you can actually take the regular cat, though. Although it is, it is infinite cat, I've only ever gotten the shadow cat. I don't know about chasing off the other one. So we have two for shadow cat, one for regular cat. Do we have any other takers? I'm going to give you another moment or two. That's true. 47 does want both. Mm. It's tied. We need a tiebreaker. <laughs> what up, Silicon Salt? You did claim for both, 47. It's there in the chat. Bold. <laughs> it's understandable. I want the thousand year old cat. But I also know the shadow cat's good too. Now Silicon Soul, is that is that a vote for Shadow Cat, the Gengar? I need to understand your ambiguousness. <laughs>
This is true, but there's enough of you folks that are actually paying attention that I can actually lean on you for decisions, and then you won't heckle me for not doing what you told me to. That's three for Shadow. Can I get one more for regular cat? Two more for regular cat. Once. Twice. Oh, damn it, blue gentleman. That's three for regular cat. Somebody break the damn tiebreaker. Next one to call it. Next fresh face to call for regular cat or shadow cat gets it. We got three votes all. How dare we make you decide? I mean, I could. It's understandable. I mean, you've got like a solid 30 seconds until I pick what I want. But I gotta give you guys the chance, it's only fair. You're here with me. This is our playthrough, yours and I. Besides, fucking half the shit that we do is the stuff that I've never picked before. We have no mutations yet. <laughs> Thanks, but I don't want it. <laughs> are you are you rescinding your shadow cat for a regular cat forty seven? Because that'll swing it. But, uh, in the interest of everybody, and uh, to stop lollygagging around, we're going to pick regular cat and see what happens. It would weigh on me, though, just leaving him alone, alone like this. A barely there existence, unsatisfied over infinite seasons, perhaps over eons. Yeah, but what's... Kodo? Burn it. Appears to me to be what he's asking. Oh, hell yeah. Cats like praise. Ugh. Do you do you think burn it? The journal? I think so. Burn it. Setting fire to a book is never as easy as it sounds, but 47 gets the oven hot enough. Page corners catch, and the flames start to eat. Kodo? And when the heat is high, with a kind of hunger, the shadow leaps. <laughs> Joins the Black River. Flowing into a wide, already smoke dark sky. These guys never burned a books then. <laughs> <laughs> They're flammable. Flammable. cat roof burning books is a pain you have to keep poking at it to make sure all the pages burn and not just the edges wouldn't know it is noted though a little later supposed to meet up around here at the cleft hill aren't we is this one cleft isn't it isn't it, like, pretty cleft? It's Ket! So... We have a very, very tough decision. Who gets plus one Ket? Is it 47? Or Rimworld Herald? Oh boy! Oh boy, do we ever have a real fucking toughie on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Because we know there's no chance in hell we're not going to take the goddamn cat. So, we know that 47 and cat 
and Rimworld Herald and Cat are both very, very viable options. So how, how in sweet Christmas do we choose? I fucking beseech you. <laughs> Thank you for following Org Bogger the Garg Fodler. I said it right, more or less the first time. Did I say it right the first time? Cause you never fucking know. What up, Diggy? <laughs> in the left corner, forty-seven fifty-two thirteen, and in the right, Rimworld Herald. Uh, whoa, whoa, that's heavy, dude. Cats aren't slaves. D do we really want to enslave our people to the cats? That's, that's twisted. But I mean, it's right. So, as much as I want to stall the stream out and watch you two 1v1 to the death over this... <laughs> <laughs> I've got to find... Can I get somebody to open a poll for it? Because one, my game's temperamental, and I can't all tab for fuck, and I'm not good with my phone. If there's digs or anybody who's actually modded, could somebody run a poll? Or could I run a live poll from... Uh, yeah, happy digs day. Look, seriously, you both are making fucking seriously good overtures for for that you want the cat. So I think we need to we need to cut you two out cuz we both know you want the fucking cat and you would be good to it. Cuz you would. So Come on, come on, Rimworld. You Karma in effect. No, I'm calling it. Karma in effect. He knows what's up. We're flipping a coin. We need... And by flipping a coin, I mean I'm rolling a dice. I'm rolling a dice for this because we need to praise the dice, guys. We're going to roll high-low on a d20. 1 to 10. Wormold Herald. 11 to 20 is 47. I'm going to roll this dice and I'm going to take a goddamn picture of it. Because this is just going to sit on my desk. We're not going to roll any more dice today. Fucking hopefully, unless we get some stupid, ridiculous shit like this again. Where we, we absolutely have to have the dice choose. Because, <laughs> good lord. Yeah, it's a cat. Plus one cat. All right. We roll. And we roll off the table like a scum. We rolled my favorite number. We rolled a 13. Thirteen. And so, the die giveth, and they taketh away. Aye, sir. But, 
the whole party is plus one kit. And we gonna feed that kit the fish. We named it Shy, because fuck we're original. Rumbled Herald, why aren't you with- oh, there he is. They go together wherever thereafter they went. I mean, you were both there. You're both gonna hang out with Ket. I have fucking no doubt that Ket is gonna get spoiled. That cat gon' get spoiled. Look how adorable it is. Adorable. Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna frame perfect click off of where we need to click. <laughs> oh, she would be so spoiled. Right down in my wheel. And get Maze up there. Whiffing his fucking. Swinging his ninja knives like a machine. With his ridiculously large sentinel. And he's gonna protect our magic users. And then we are going to proceed to rock them. Where are you, losers? Want some, get some. We have cat. Oh, we've got Ungabunga. And the Woken. Take the monster rocks. Nice deep. Remove Harold. I shall knit her a small cloak, a hat, and make her a small staff. Hell yeah. Take the tiny rocks for the flank. Dodge this, you casual. Oh. Those Kuni are just grody. Actually, though... Father Fungi? Oh, yeah. Dare you? Hobble me. How about we discuss this with my mages? I'll pull back from this one. I'll pull in from this one. Really wants me to use blood. It's understandable. The pillar of our team.
Father Fungi keeps getting stunted on, though. That's not good for him. You know what? It's compulsion, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Come to butthead. So very glad we gave him that. That was a good call. That's gonna turn out to be some spicy shenanigans later. Thank you for letting me learn how that spell works. Now we go for some stunt. Holy hidden boss. SRW is an old man. So is Vaughn. Let's give it to Rim. Hell yeah, you do. Hidden boss as he does his own stunts. Uh, stunt is like crits. Gotta take the items. We're loot goblins. Agreed, Von Falkenstein. Star Slate Necklace. That's a point. That's a point. Not a point. That's a point. Mm. Okay, so 47, and Hidden Boss. We should give it to Hidden Boss, he's on the front line. And he's new. Let's go! Start carving up the territory. Straightening the curves, flattening the hills. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Emerald Earthworks have proven rewarding. Since I have found something, doesn't seem like it should go to me. Hardwoods and ingots. The brooch of grace. Fucking Maze Hughes already has one. Falkenstein could use it, but uh Hidden Boss could probably use it. He's got like the lowest. Outside of SRW addict, but he's old school. He doesn't need to take the Dapus, being in the back line. The Offering by Anne Austin. And it was simply there, striding beside them. Hey, are you gonna say something to it, or...? Fellow Wanderer. What caused the very stones to cross this valley? Rumble. Someone visited my shrine. It has been a long time I have slept. I go to it now. Shrug. Rumble, rumble, rumble. It is close. I feel the offering. But something is not right. Who desecrates my shrine with thievery? Whoa! Tree Man says your shrine? Oh boy, here we go. Rock and stone to the bone. If you ask the benevolent protective order of Jerk and why they always seem to draw the land's troubles to them, they may disagree over the answer. Perhaps there are so many troubles that the odds of encountering anyone are actually quite freaking high. Or maybe we just have that kind of dumping ground aura. 
The shrine was built by the hill folk in the days of stone, but for any of you upset saplings scattered here. And is that how long it's been since you visited it? Who tended its moss and shielded it from the storms in the meantime? Not you, old scuff. That's for sure. This offering was intended for the hills. You abandoned the shrine for ages. You forfeit any offering. It is rightfully the forests now. What say the soft ones? Right now? Oh, it's five. All right, that's me out. Later, folks. Thanks again for hanging out. We will be back again to steal again. Till later. Have fun. Take care of each other.